how can we as STA work together to make sure that this rich MDL ecosystem builds quickly and builds in a, in a good time frame and meets consumer demand. So issuers are providing a civic service. They do today. They they know that these identity cards are um, but you know, are used that we use our cards as identity cards, and we and I think we have to be respectful of that and see what their role is and really understand their role and treat that role with respect. The if we engage with issuers and verifiers really early and we get the conversation going with all the parties, right, issuers, verifiers, consumers as well, we can be listening to needs, establish some early adopters. I think this is one of the key things that can happen through STA working groups is to reach verifiers um, now, educate them and pull them in so that we are, are working together to build this ecosystem. Um, the, the concept of sort of expanding choice to support multiple different workflows in a business is also possible. And then also the selecting MDLs that support multiple interaction modes is what I mentioned on this. So how do we get promote, educate enough that that balance is well known, that the interaction modes of modes are well known, and and uh, the decision makers are choosing those. And in some cases, I'll call out um, you know, Florida that had an RFP, for example, there will be multiple MDL solutions available to the residents of that state. And so residents get to choose and they can make their choices as well and they'll end up choosing the one that is accepted everywhere. So, again, I think it's through STA through the identity council, we can start to make these connections and start to get that message out about a full ecosystem. Go ahead to the next slide. The other thing that's interesting here is we're really pulling together a marketplace. In that, you know, where one kind of doesn't exist now, the consumer has the demand, they, and they may not adopt until they know where they can use their MDL. This is a possibility, and at the same time, verifiers may not adopt until they see a significant number of MDLs. So there are, we, I think, we've always described this as you know, two mountains that are being scaled in order to everyone meet at the lake in the middle, and this is definitely a challenge. How can we find ways to jumpstart this? that pull together those early adopters, publicize use cases really well, and start to get over that initial hurdle to build the marketplace for this. So some of the things we need are these challenges for issuers and verifiers to express their needs. I mean, card standards have worked well for verifiers to lower the risk. They hold the identity risk. They are the ones who need to be in compliance. They're the ones who need who have a transaction of some value for which they need identity to meet the risk of that value. So card standards have done well to lower that risk and to even distance the need if the issuers say, oh, I do the card standard, and then the verifiers accept that card standard. Same thing here with ISO 18013-5. The issuers can use that standard knowing that verifiers will, will accept that standard. And that's a key piece of this, taking those card standards and making sure that they are used to help pull that marketplace together. Also, the interoperability of that standard, me being able to take my MDL and go to multiple different interactions, multiple different businesses, and use it across them because the standard exists, that also kind of lowers the hurdle. Um, and so there's sort of these two demands, two sets of demands that are there, and the ability for everyone to be listening to what those demands are, to jump early, to take action, and kind of pull this marketplace together. It's a key, one of the key challenges that we have. 